Hello everybody. If you don't have time to read Cornucopia's white paper, don't worry, I will read for you, just relax and enjoy. I will skip through white paper index and I will start with summary. Summary Cornucopia's The Island is a blockchain-based play-to-earn, build-to-earn, and learn-to-earn MMORPG game where players can own land and other NFT, non-fungible tokens, based assets that are tradable in a peer-to-peer -peer manner. All hosted in a fun and expanding metaverse, a virtual reality space in which users can interact with a computer-generated environment and other users. The island is split into a number of themed zones such as the Wild West Zone, Farm Life Zone and Age of the Samurai Zone, where people of all ages can play a series of mini-games. Getting lost in the play-to-earn ecosystem where they can earn digital assets as they explore and build in our safe and secure world. The more creative players can design their own items such as coffee tables, beds and other household furnishings which can then be minted into an island blueprint that other players can then buy, gather the materials, and then craft in-game into a brand new NFT. Once created, the crafter can play with the items in their virtual dwelling or sell them on to other players to enjoy or sell on again. The island combines gaming with real-world commerce and gives opportunities for traditional and e-commerce companies to sell and promote their real-world brands, goods and services to a hard-to-reach audience they have potentially never had access to before. Available worldwide, the island is built on the Unreal Engine 5 games engine which is compatible with the PC, mobile phone, games consoles and smart TVs, and will be powered, governed and be forever evolving thanks to a growing number of communities including blockchain, unreal game developers, voxel, 3D artists and modelers and general game enthusiasts. Creators and players will be able to discover a new form of currency economics where they can create and trade their own NFTs in-game or on third-party marketplaces, and no longer will their purchased game assets be confined inside a single game again. A disruptive gaming revolution is upon us in Cornucopia as the island awaits everyone to come and join in the fun of changing gaming forever. Introduction Creating a blockchain game requires great gameplay and storylines together with characters and graphics. Connectivity must be seamless and access must be guaranteed to facilitate an ongoing market for trading in-game items. Barriers to entry must be minimum and the game should be available to play wherever internet access is available whether that is at home on the desktop, games console, smart TV or out and about on a mobile phone. Most traditional AAA games are centralized and built by large software houses, development is in-house and predetermined to what the company thinks the player wants. A new generation of blockchain-based games is now emerging that is changing gaming forever. You now get to decide what to play and also get paid to play instead of the other way round. Blockchain games are decentralized and are not served by any single point of failure from a centralized location. Instead, they are powered by a series of nodes that can be found on any willing participant that wants to host and run their own gaming node, creating a massive mesh of player-owned servers that can be switched off at any time without affecting other players. The player is in total control and owns all of their in-game assets, such as their characters and game assets. Owners can take advantage of this building, trading, selling and even renting some of their assets to other players. New financial economies have emerged that allow for new DeFi, decentralized finance, services such as staking or yield generation. DeFi is a new form of generating interest on your currency and assets without the need for traditional banks. The new DeFi revolution makes it possible to generate an income by playing blockchain games and makes it simple and fun by using easy-to-understand game terminology. Game progress, NFT assets and trading history is all anonymous and stored on distributed nodes and the blockchain, which makes them immutable and impossible to manipulate ensuring true ownership of your game items. Using broadband or 3G divided by 4G divided by 5G internet access the island game can be accessed virtually anywhere in the world and on most gaming devices, giving players the confidence to dedicate time in building their environment and assets, in the knowledge that they will always be able to retrieve, play and trade them in the future. The island is being developed by the Cornucopia's game studio backed by a team of experienced storytellers, developers and thought leaders, and is aiming to bring together communities, developers, real-world companies and games of all ages to disrupt the gaming space forever. The Island Goals Everyone can play. The island will have mass appeal and is aimed at all ages and all player abilities. There will be a game to play for the casual player and the try-hard gamer. 
In designing the ever-evolving metaverse we have studied and plan to build games and infrastructure tools that will appeal, but not be limited to the following cohorts. Player role. Casual mini-game players. Casual house builder players. Hardcore skilled full-on RPG players. Money incentivized players. NFT collector. NFT trader. Dory players. Professional players. Team players. Play with your friends players. Esport players. Strategy players. Action players. Explorer. Community players. Genre specific wants to level up specific types. Maybe they can't afford additional characters. Freemium players. Play to earn players. Build to earn players. Builder role. Level builders. Game builders. NFT makers. 3D modelers. Developer slash artistic role. Unreal Engine developers, voxel developers, blockchain developers, traditional and web 3.0 developers, mobile developers, music developers, graphic designers, character designers, real world company slash opportunity role, branded games, branded properties, branded events slash competitions, advertising agencies, investment companies, game license holders, dreaming services, gaming services. Subscription services, Z commerce, B commerce, blockchain e commerce. Play everywhere. The island, when completed, will be a massive, multiplayer, online role playing game, MMORPG, that's an expansive, multi platform, PC, web browser, games console, mobile phone, smart TV, environment where you can earn cryptocurrency tokens through skilled gameplay and contributions to the ecosystem. Cloud is dead. Long live the island. The island is the first game from the Cornucopia's game studio. It is a smart contract and NFT-based project, built on the Cardano blockchain, and has been designed to be decentralized once distributed nodes have been developed, tested, deployed and activated. Game saves will be saved on distributed nodes, and will no longer rely on central cloud-hosted servers managed by the in-house game development team. The nodes will be hosted voluntarily by some of the players themselves, who will be incentivized by daily hosting rewards. Due to the architecture of the blockchain and distributed nodes there will be no central kill switch, and play will continue even as the nodes are switched on and off. If the main Cornucopia's team somehow gets beamed to another planet, Play will continue, and your time and NFT dedication will not be lost. When the island awakes and becomes truly decentralized, the island multiverse will exist forever. Game Viewpoints The island main game has a third-person view i.e. the player sees the game world from a camera that's located at a fixed distance behind and slightly above their character. The island is being developed at scale with a main game that allows the player to explore multiple zones and then play mini-games or enter other player-owned zones which in turn may have further areas to explore and or games to play. The player-owned zones and some of the mini-games will be a mixture of all types of games from simple puzzle games, sports, car racing and first-person shooters. The list is endless as expandability and scalability is built in from the start. Technology Stack a mixture of technologies will work in harmony to bring the entire vision together. Using the power of the Net Platform, the Unreal Engine 5, Voxels, Cardano, and other blockchains and a series of open-source technologies, an ever-expanding metaverse will evolve over time. We are really excited to see what players and other indie and professional developers bring to the island for everyone to enjoy. The file size could be enormous, but using skilled architects, developers, and technology specialists we will continue to research and invest heavily in building new technology that will ensure a smooth game on whatever platform the player is on. No compromises will be made however, scaled down versions of the game will more than likely find its way to the mobile phone and other devices however no game will be standalone the player's progress and earnings will always be in sync on all devices thanks to the power of the decentralized blockchain platform. Play to Earn at the heart of every release and every device build will be the play-to-earn mantra of the Cornucopia's vision to bring power and new economics to the player. By playing enjoyable games the player will be able to earn cryptocurrency rewards. Imagine being paid to play a game. Learn to earn. From the offset we want the The Island to be more than just a game, and we are teaming up with some of the best educational centers in the world to build learning into the metaverse. Players AHAM students will be able to enjoy learning via our educational centers and earn rewards through playing education minigames. 
This unique form of learn-to-earn gameplay, we are hoping will bring a whole new form of gamification to education. Build to Earn The more creative players will be able to design their own items such as coffee tables, beds, household furnishings etc. which can then be minted into an island blueprint that other players can then buy, gather the materials, and then craft in-game into a brand new NFT. Once created, the crafter can play with the items in their virtual dwelling or sell them onto other players to enjoy or sell on again. The new build-to-earn gameplay which combined with the play-to-earn mechanic that the Cornucopius team are championing will take gameplay to a whole new level, and new economies will emerge from budding entrepreneurs coding and earning like never before. There has never been a better time to work and get paid from home and be your own boss. Staking There will be opportunities to stake NFTs on the island, allowing users to obtain specific items for in-game consumption or trading with other players. See the staking section to find out more. Player Opportunities and NFT Marketplaces The island is aiming to be the largest NFT marketplace on Cardano, with player tools being built to create any number of NFTs at the click of a button. Smart contract-based NFT tickets and player-owned NFT assets, such as land and properties, will all be resaleable. Collectors can get lost in the metaverse where hundreds, if not thousands of limited edition NFT-based characters will be available to buy and trade. The Cardano blockchain provides a secure, decentralized, autonomous and flexible platform upon which a variety of games can be built over multiple zones and lands. Players can enjoy real-world in-game exclusive live events such as cinema and theater shows, together with real-life in-game money-generating opportunities. At the center of the island is a pre-built city where players can own and or rent residential or commercial apartments and interact with other players within e-commerce and b-commerce, blockchain e-commerce, shops, museums, education centers, showrooms and other real-life equivalent buildings. Around the city are multiple themed commercial zones such as farms and ranches that offer fun minigames that, once played, will reward the player with cryptocurrency and other in-game rewards. Around the outside of the themed commercial zones are the themed residential zones. On the residential land the player can build and customize their own house and even maintain a small garden. If they have a larger plot, landowners can even grow crops to keep themselves well-fed or to sell slash trade to shops or other players. You can even earn some income on the side by creating and then renting a property to another player for their own activities. It's your land do with it what you want. In addition, new cities, commercial and residential land zones will be available as the game evolves and more players join. However, there is a finite number of land plots and zones that can ever be owned, making trading another important part of the game mechanics. Players can purchase and or trade all kinds of assets with other players in-game or via third-party blockchain NFT-based marketplaces. There will be hundreds of different ways to customize your character from themed clothing to crazy items crafted by other players and sold within the game. Market Gaming Market Size The video gaming market is highly lucrative and is estimated at 108 billion per annum, in part a result of mobile gaming which accounts for $35.3 billion. Estimates of the current desktop computer gaming share vary from $24.80 to 33.7 billion. The year-over-year -year growth rate is estimated at 9.35% with one of the key drivers for this market being integration of blockchain technology to enable players to trade in-game virtual assets through contracts or other competing players. Data encryption technologies have enabled providers and developers to monetize gaming services. NFT Market Size The NFT market reached over $22 billion in 2021, up from $338 million in late 2020. Much of the given sector is being focused on the gaming industry, which has immense potential for providing gamers with unique opportunities for collecting in-game items. Metaverse Market Size Alternate digital realities where users are represented by digital avatars in a shared virtual space is the next frontier for online interaction. Games such as Fortnite and Minecraft already have detailed worlds and user-generated content from a large user base. Over the last year our culture has also shifted online, from using Zoom for family reunions to users saving time and money trying products virtually before deciding to purchase, ensuring less returns. Online shopping is more than trying products virtually before purchasing in real life.
Culture inside the metaverse also has a real impact on brands through digital clothing to marketing campaigns. In the metaverse, people have friendships and relationships which will affect their decisions. Brands will adapt to relationship styles of play and interactions as customers are able to interact in 3D form. Virtual fashion, avatar skins and virtual houses and cars will have their own worth in the metaverse. Companies will have to design brands for different users at varying stages of wealth and progress. Users can invest in their own online businesses and property and partner businesses that exist solely in the metaverse. Product Problem Definition Gamers In traditional games, the gamers or parents have to spend money for the game and continue to spend money on player upgrades, accessories, and playing time. Addictive games can become very costly. And finally, when the game is complete, there is no means to recover any of the losses by selling your character or in-game assets. Developers One of the main problems traditional game developers face is the intermittent work. For example, if a game goes into crunch mode and then does not succeed with their go-to-market plans, the developer ends up in search of new work. In addition to this, there are many countries where game developers have the skill sets but are unable to find consistent work due to locational requirements. Businesses Businesses in need of reaching gamers with advertising have been limited to creating ads that interfere with the actual gameplay, which often serves as only an annoyance to the gamer. Solution Gamers Virtual asset ownership is important for gamer status and progression. The time and effort involved by the gamer could be rewarded through the exchange of in-game virtual items for real-world digital assets or for virtual items in other games. A scalable real-time asset storage ledger is required and a means of managing ownership and sharing in increasingly complex game zones, which over time will need to ensure provably fair gameplay and item acquisition. Developers Cornucopia's game developers can work from anywhere in the world to their own schedule, earning cryptocurrency for adding value to the game. Once approved and in our world, the more their games are played the more they make. Businesses Currently there are numerous companies providing a marketplace for reselling games and digital assets, but without blockchain technology the market is open to manipulation. On the island ecosystem users can trade, resell or market themselves using blockchain technology and cryptocurrency in an open, free and trustworthy marketplace. Cornucopias uses the Cardano blockchain network as a ledger completely secured from attacks, fraud and data manipulation. All information processes securely through smart contracts resulting in gamer confidence through proof of ownership and complete historical data. Gameplay Player Appeal Cornucopia's The Island is an adventure game where players explore the many zones on a player-owned map. The game has been built to appeal to many types of players who can enjoy the game casually or in long play sessions. Land The land on the Cornucopia's map is divided into districts that can contain one or a mixture of cities, towns, and or villages. Within each district is a starting zone where the player can begin the game if they have a character that originates from that district. By default each player is given two free starting characters from the city zone, Urban Adventures, see below how to obtain additional characters. Each district will have a unique themed look and feel such as the Wild West Zone which is based on an old American western town, Farm Life a zone based on a rural farm or ranch, Age of the Samurai zone based on 12th century early modern Japanese heritage, and many more. Some of the land zones, cities and towns can be subdivided further into neighborhoods with the lowest level being a land plot. Once a plot of land is owned by a player and depending on where the plot of land is located, it can be built upon to produce one of the following types of land plots. Residential plot this is a location where a player's character can live and can be of many property types such as a skyscraper, a block of flats, a mansion, a house, a flat, a tent, etc. Commercial this is a location where a player can create a business type such as a large shop, a bank, a tavern, etc. Industrial this is a location that provides resources for the player such as wood, food, water, power, etc. Agricultural this is a location that provides resources for the players such as food, plants, etc. Recreational this is a location that provides fun things for your player to do, 
such as exercise or relaxation. Player in-game character. Each player begins the game with a human character that you will control throughout the game. Your first challenge is to customize your character's features to make them truly unique to yourself. If you feel like having a mustache one day, go for it. The next day, you could be completely bald. You will start with a great looking default outfit, and if you desire, you can pop off to the in game shops or third party marketplaces and kit yourself up with a cool NFT based rare outfit so that when you get bored of wearing it you can trade or sell it to another player. Remember, the island is a blockchain game. Every item you purchase is an NFT that you can sell at any point no longer is your money wasted and locked inside a single game. You'll be able to customize other parts of your character too, and we'll explain a few below with more to follow as the game develops. Character Badges and Backpacks do you have other Cardano NFTs from other projects? We will be partnering with many of your favorite projects, and you'll be able to show off your rarest NFTs that you hold in your wallet by displaying them on a badge or on a backpack on your character. Then of course we'll make it super easy for you to share your character on your favorite socials to show off your treasures. By linking a player's profile to a Cardano-based wallet on Startup, the game will be able to read the Cardano blockchain and determine what NFTs you hold, and if compatible make them available to be used within the game. If you have a set of NFTs we don't support, drop us a message, and if there is enough demand we'll contact the creators and get them integrated. In the future, when additional games are produced and the player links their wallet to them, given the games are compatible with the Cornucopia's metaverse, it would be possible for the NFT characters to appear in that game with no additional purchase costs required. Character Outfit Rarity Rarity plays an important factor in-game. By design a limited supply of character outfits will be available, and once those outfits have been purchased they may never be on sale again. It's not all pay to show off, of course there will be opportunities to earn additional outfits as rewards for completing tasks or minigames. Character Energy Just like in real life each character requires energy to perform tasks, and the more tasks you perform the more energy you use up. While playing the game the player will discover and be able to play minigames, see minigames. Playing these minigames decreases the amount of energy a character possesses. Once a character's energy has been depleted the character can no longer play any more minigames until one of the following happens. The character's energy is increased naturally, see character energy renewal. The player uses an energy boost see energy boosts to increase the energy level the player consumes an energy replenishing item such as a loaf of bread or a pizza there will be varying increase amounts depending on the item consumed the player receives a reward within game that refreshes all or some of the energy character energy renewal Every hour the energy level of the character increases naturally until the energy of the character reaches the maximum value of that character, then it will no longer increase. Character Outfit Special Slash Partner Edition From time to time an exclusive character outfit will become available to own. This special edition character outfit may be available during one, but not limited to, the following. Annual event e.g. Winter Holidays, Easter Holiday one-off event e.g. special occasion e.g. 10-year anniversary character edition. Partner special a cornucopia's partner may have a character only available via them, see cornucopia's partner network. Daily slash monthly slash one-off challenge e.g. a character could be achieved by completing a single or multiple tasks. Character mounts. Yes, mounts are coming to the island. For those who don't know, mounts is a gaming term given to an animal or creature that your character will be able to ride alone, or with a friend on some mounts, to get around the island quicker. Some mounts will have the ability to fly, some will be super quick on land and others will be able to swim perhaps some will have a mixture of traits? Every player will have the ability to earn a free mount on completion of an in-game task or challenge. A more detailed explanation of mounts will be announced in the future, as this is another amazing layer to the island that needs explaining in way more detail. Stay tuned! Non-player characters, NPC Within the game there will be non-player characters. 
Some of these characters may be interactive and the player will be able to communicate with them. The NPC may offer rewards for completing tasks or they may educate the player on certain aspects of the game. Some NPCs may even offer to challenge a player. Some NPC characters may just be there to add to the player's experience, so they are not wandering alone in the vast environments. And multiplayer. The game is being developed to be enjoyed by single or multiple players either playing together or separately. Players that are existing friends or new friends discovered while playing the game will be able to perform tasks and challenges together or against each other. Multiplayer elements will evolve over time as the game is developed further. Cornucopia's Partner Network The Cornucopia's Partner Network will play a key part in the evolution of the game. Strategic partners will add value to the game and may offer additional services that the player can benefit from by connecting with them directly. Other partners may provide value to all players without direct connection. For example, a partner may, through the use of a partner code that can be used within the game, provide a unique and or exclusive NFT character outfit that may or may not be available in-game or via any other partner. Once owned, however, the player will be able to dispose of the partner's unique NFT character outfit via the trading options explained earlier. As explained earlier, see character badges and backpacks. A partner NFT could be shown on your character's badge or backpack. Mini games. Within each zone, the player will come across a number of mini games. Each game will be themed to the zone they are in and can be triggered by and not limited to one of the following entering into a part of the land or building an npc player request choosing an option from a list of available mini games triggered on completion of a task or event mini game rewards each mini game type will show the player what achievement or score they need to reach to complete the game and also what rewards will be given on completion on completing the minigame the types of rewards given to the players could be and not limited to energy the player's energy could be increased XP the player's XP total C player XP could be increased coins the player's coins total C player coins could be increased reward item this could be a crafting material C crafting material or a consumable item C consumable items player experience points xp throughout the game the player will occasionally be rewarded with xp experience points for completing tasks mini games and or achieving milestones on achieving certain xp totals the player will be rewarded further this is a non-exhaustive list of what could be rewarded for every 1 million xp points achieved the player will receive a new badge that can be used on their character for every 10 million XP points achieved, the player will receive a new outfit that can be used on their character. Player Coins The native digital cryptographically secured fungible token, coins, on cornucopias is a transferable representation of attributed governance and utility functions specified in the protocol slash code of cornucopias, and, as described herein, is designed to be used solely as an interoperable utility token on the game ecosystem. As Cornucopias is a Cardano blockchain game the coin rewarded will be of a native Cardano coin with the ticker Copy and will be transferable within the broader cryptocurrency ecosystem. Coins are functional utility token which will be used as the medium of exchange between participants on Cornucopias in a decentralized manner. The goal of introducing coins is to provide a convenient and secure mode of payment and settlement between participants who interact within the ecosystem on cornucopias, and it is not, and not intended to be, a medium of exchange accepted by the public, or a section of the public, as payment for goods or services, or for the discharge of a debt, nor is it designed or intended to be used by any person as payment for any goods or services whatsoever that are not exclusively provided by the issuer. Throughout the game the player will occasionally be rewarded with coins for completing tasks, mini-games and or achieving milestone games.
Coins does not in any way represent any shareholding, participation, right, title, or interest in the company, the distributor, their respective affiliates, or any other company, enterprise, or undertaking, nor will coins entitle token holders to any promise of fees, dividends, revenue, profits or investment returns, and are not intended to constitute securities in Singapore or any relevant jurisdiction. Coins may only be utilized on cornucopias, and ownership of coins carries no rights, express or implied, other than the right to use coins as a means to enable usage of an interaction within cornucopias. Coins also provide the economic incentives, which will be distributed to encourage users to contribute to and participate in the ecosystem on cornucopias, thereby creating a mutually beneficial system where every participant is fairly compensated for its efforts. Coins is an integral and indispensable part of cornucopias, because without coins, there would be no incentive for users to expend resources to participate in activities or provide services for the benefit of the entire ecosystem on cornucopias. Given that, additional coins will be awarded to a user based only on its actual usage, activity and contribution on cornucopias and or proportionate to the frequency and volume of transactions, users of cornucopias and or holders of coins which did not actively participate will not receive any coins incentives. The Kopi coin can be used as follows. As the native game currency, coins may be traded within the game for in-game assets such as energy boosts, character accessories, island blueprints, as well as various peer-to-peer -peer trading transactions. Coins are fungible tokens on the Cardano blockchain network, so it may be transferable outside of the game as currency on any exchange, marketplace, game or network that will accept the Kopi coin as a form of currency. It may be exchanged for another cryptocurrency on an exchange, game, marketplace or network that will accept the Kopi coin as a form of currency. Crafting Materials Throughout the game the player will be able to craft items that will help them progress through the game or add to their inventory and be used or sold later. Some of these items will aid questing and improve the performance or abilities of the player and others will be NFT-based items that can be sold or traded. There are several different ways the player can obtain crafting materials. Gathering crafting materials may be found randomly around the metaverse. Some materials could be found scattered throughout the many zones and some might only be found in one or a couple of zones, some materials will be harder to find than others. As looting there may be times within the game you have a chance of finding crafting materials when a player defeats an opponent or a boss in a minigame. Purchasing there will be multiple ways to purchase materials as follows. In-game merchants and shops may sell crafting materials. In some zones a player may be able to trade with other players or non-player characters. In-game and third-party NFT marketplaces may sell crafting materials. In-game promotions or special offers may appear that the player can collect. Salvaging available from some merchants, it may be possible to craft materials out of old or unwanted items. Crafting some materials are acquired by crafting them from other crafting materials consumable items. As the player progresses through the game performing tasks and playing minigames their character's health may decrease slowly or rapidly depending on the task. One of the many ways a player can increase their energy is by consuming edible items. The amount of energy gained through consuming the item will vary and is dependent on the item consumed. Staking and yield farming. This wouldn't be crypto if you couldn't stake your coins right? Of course you'll be able to stake your coins, but this is the island the future of gaming, surely we can do something different from everyone else. How does staking work on the island? In the new decentralized finance, DeFi, era of cryptocurrency, you purchase some coins, shop around different providers, and then lock up your coins for a set amount of days to participate in certain activities in the network, e.g. maintaining network security, governance. Cornucopias gamifies the staking process, so in order for users to play to earn or access certain exclusive areas in the game, users will need to stake their coins for access privileges. Depending on the amount of coins staked, users will be able to access more and more restricted game areas or character levels, which they are able to explore to obtain specific items for in-game consumption or trading with other players. There will be two forms of staking rewards on offer. 
Cornucopia's coin staking rewards will be given as staking rewards. Cornucopia's NFTs will be given as staking rewards. The NFTs are always yours to do with what you want. You can keep hold of them in your crypto wallet and enjoy in the game, or you can trade them on the many third-party decentralized marketplaces. Island Blueprints In-game blueprints There will be many times a player requires an item to progress through the game or wants to collect certain objects for status reasons. The island has many in-game blueprints that have been pre-designed to help the player progress. The blueprint will show the player what materials they require to craft the final object and has an example image of what it will look like. Blueprints will require varying amounts of materials, and some will only be able to be crafted using the stated materials noted in the blueprint, others will be able to be crafted using a mixture of player materials. It may also be the case that different raw materials result in a final object with different base attributes. For example, a wooden axe blueprint will explain how many wooden raw materials the player needs to gather slash acquire before the wooden axe can be created. However, the type of wood may not be stated so the final wooden axe when crafted could be created using oak, pine, walnut, mahogany, or the very rare red gum wood. As the axe will be crafted into an NFT the red gum axe may be more valuable to trade with than a common oak axe. Furthermore the red gum axe may be able to chop down certain trees as it is stronger than an axe built from pine. Player Created Blueprints the more creative players can design their own items such as coffee tables, beds and other household furnishings which can then be minted into an island blueprint that other players can then buy, gather the materials, and then craft in-game into a brand new NFT star. Once created, the crafter can play with the items in their virtual dwelling or sell them on to other players to enjoy or sell on again. The player uses the asset design tools that will be created by the Cornucopia's development team to build a project that will produce an island blueprint. Once the player is happy with their design they will be able at the press of a button to mint the blueprint into an NFT asterisk asset that can now be sold in-game or on third-party marketplaces, earning the player real-world currency. The blueprint informs all players what the item looks like and what materials are needed in-game to craft the item into an asset that can be used in-game. There will be a small minting fee to create the NFT. Once another player, or the designer, has the island blueprint in their possession, this will be found in their blockchain wallet and integrated seamlessly into the game interface. The item now needs to be crafted or constructed before it becomes real and be able to be used in-game. To construct the item a player needs to gather the materials described in the blueprint and then at the press of a button easily craft the item pictured in the blueprint into the new NFT asterisk asset, which in turn is saved on their blockchain in their wallet. Similar to the in-game blueprints, player-created blueprints may be restricted to one type of material or unrestricted to many types of material, and the material used could offer different benefits slash weaknesses depending on the crafting material. Players can create and sell an unlimited amount of blueprints and other players can buy, build and sell items made from the blueprint in-game, creating a new economy for players to enjoy. Example of how TO create an in-game bicycle, a player uses the in-game designer and creates a blueprint for a bicycle. The bicycle design is minted into an island blueprint and is saved on the blockchain and stored in the creator's wallet as a cornucopia as the island blueprint NFT of a bicycle. Another player buys the bicycle NFT and gathers the materials needed and crafts the blueprint into the NFT bicycle, which is then stored in their wallet. A small licensing commission is paid to the creator using the in-game currency and the island blueprint NFT and the NFT materials that were used to mint the NFT bicycle are burnt forever, which means they are removed from the crafter's wallet and destroyed so they can't be used again. The crafting player can now keep or list the crafted bicycle on the in-game or third-party NFT marketplace and sell at whatever price they set. One player may craft a wooden bicycle and another may craft a more desirable gold or platinum bicycle. The new owner can now use the crafted bicycle in-game and can repeat the sale process on the marketplace whenever they no longer want to own it. Blueprints can range from small items such as bicycles, beds, televisions, coffee tables, to entire apartment blocks, or even neighborhoods or cities.
technical architecture, teams, and game evolution. Cornucopia's The Island Game is being built upon the Cardano blockchain and distributed slash decentralized technology, however the game will initially be built using a traditional method of development using cloud services to save the player data and to mimic the use of a blockchain wallet. This means instead of the player data being stored on a decentralized node network, while under the test environment and early alpha slash beta releases, the data will be stored in the cloud. Once the core development has been built and tested, the next evolution of the project will be to migrate the endpoints from the cloud to the blockchain and distributed nodes. The solution will be built using modules so the migration from cloud to blockchain will not involve huge rewrites of the core game, and only the endpoints will require minor changes. This development path will be carried out this way for the following reasons. The developers will be creating technology and functionality within the game that has never been developed before on any blockchain nor traditional game. And to prove the technology works it will initially be created using known technologies. Once the core technology has been proved to work and is stable on cloud services it will be rewritten using blockchain technology. And there will be a proven set of techniques that can be used as a reference to build from. The Cardano blockchain as of the writing of this white paper in summer 2021 does not yet have a live smart contract system. The smart contracts are only available on testnet. Initially building the system on cloud will allow time for the Cardano blockchain functionality to be released and settle down, so we only have to do the implementation once and not on an evolving ecosystem. Delaying the blockchain implementation will allow time to build knowledge into the development team of blockchain and Cardano blockchain technology. The method of cloud first then blockchain is a proven development route. There are multiple ways to implement blockchain technology and having additional time to study the technology further and to build prototypes will be beneficial long term for the project. Should any major delays in the blockchain development occur there will be an option to launch the game without using the blockchain, and then upgrade and migrate the players to the blockchain when the delays have been resolved, thus to risking the launch roadmap. Subject to updates, the initial planned high-level overview of the cloud and blockchain architecture will look and work as follows. Development Teams the game will be built on the Unreal Engine 5 with a number of milestones that can be split amongst various development teams as follows. Web development team a small team of web developers that will build an early version of the game and then continue to have ongoing functionality once the main game has launched. Main deliverables, character face customization. Ability to change character outfits for those found in their blockchain wallet. Ability to change character badges for those found in their blockchain wallet. Ability to change character backpacks for those found in their blockchain wallet. Ability to change character mounts for those found in their blockchain wallet. General website functionality. Don't add this yet, it will be included later when I explain mounts. Maintain website shop. Core game development team, a small team of Unreal Engine 5 developers that will build the main elements of the game. Main deliverables. Game main menu and character options. Game menu tabs allowing the player to view items slash change characters, etc. Game saving slash loading from a local database. Game levels including city and theme zones. Mini games integration. Game mechanics. Crafting mechanics. Blueprint Mechanics Token and in-game accounting mechanics They will also be responsible for integrating ongoing minigames into the core game. Minigame Integration Team A small to medium team of Unreal Engine 5 developers. Main Deliverables Integrating minigames into the main game. PC Node Development Team A small team of .NET developers. Main Deliverables Synchronization of offline core game database information with cloud services. Ensure core local database is not tampered with by third-party applications. Game upgrade service downloading slash installing slash upgrading of new components. Separate game launcher application to be enhanced over time adding extra game functionality 
that can be developed using .NET EG asset building tools, object conversions, and other features. Cloud development team a small to medium team of cloud developers and cloud database developers. Main deliverables, database design and implementation. Database and cloud security. Database administration functionality such as backups, scaling, ongoing maintenance, and monitoring. API slash REST development to allow secure connectivity from the game nodes to the cloud database. Build testnet and mainnet cloud services. Character, background and asset concept artists a small team of graphical artists tasked with creating artistic impressions of in-game characters, backgrounds, and artists. Character 3D modelers a small team of 3D character modelers tasked with creating in-game characters and rigging them for the Unreal Engine 5. Background and asset 3D modelers a small team of 3D background and environment modelers tasked with creating in-game objects. Level designers a small team of designers tasked with designing the island core game and minigame levels for the Unreal Engine 5. QA and testing team a small team of quality assurance game slash cloud slash UX testers that will be used across all the development projects to ensure the games are delivered to the highest quality possible. Project managers slash business analysts a small team of project managers and business analysts that will ensure the games are delivered on time and on budget. Research team a small team of people responsible for researching game theory and other game related research required such as minigame, crafting investigation, etc. As other departments, there will be other non-development teams slash personnel that will aid in overall company structure such as HR, accounts, training, and personal development, etc. Stage 1 Cloud Development The game will be built using Unreal Engine 5 on the Windows desktop PC environment aimed at Windows 10 or above. Initially the game will be built as a standalone offline game using a local database to store the player's game, and the network slash cloud services and minigames will be integrated into the core game. The game will be launched via a .NET application that will start the Unreal Engine 5 game executable along with a local node built in .NET that will be responsible for synchronizing the game save and load variables with the cloud services. As this version will be using cloud services, and not blockchain services the blockchain wallet functionality will be built in the cloud to mimic the functionality of storing data on the blockchain. The local node will communicate directly with the cloud services and perform a number of important functions, such as allowing the game to be played for a limited amount of time, even when internet connectivity has been lost, and allowing client-server game communication from the cloud services to the game. Stage 2 Blockchain Development once the core game has been built and tested using the cloud services, the next step will be to replace the cloud database and cloud node with a node that is responsible for communicating and saving slash loading data from the Cardano blockchain. The development of the blockchain node can be built in parallel with stage one and various prototypes can be built to test performance, security, etc. When the standalone component has been built and tested, the blockchain node will be enhanced further to allow it to be run as part of a decentralized node network, allowing the game to scale to an unlimited number of players. Stage 3 Cloud TO Blockchain Migration When the blockchain distributed node network has been tested and is deemed ready to be integrated into the core game, the final step to decentralization will begin. In this step the cloud services will be replaced completely with the blockchain node network. It may be the case that the game initially launches for a period of time, centralized using the cloud services before the eventual switch over to the decentralized model. If the game was live before this step then the player's cloud data will be migrated first to a blockchain testnet and then to the live blockchain. Character and game background slash assets initial prototypes and experiments will be built using off-the-shelf characters, backgrounds and assets found on the Epic Games Marketplace. This tactic is being used as the project is currently self-funded, and this is the quickest way to prototype ideas for the environments and minigames to show the wider public what the development team is capable of, and to gather early feedback on the direction the game is evolving. The first major short-term goal is to create unique customizable characters with interchangeable outfits that will be made available to purchase as NFTs.
The money generated from selling the unique custom NFT outfits will contribute towards paying employees' wages that will in turn build the first version of the island game known as the Minimum Viable Product, MVP. The MVP may still contain off-the-shelf, background levels, and other assets, but the main character and outfits will all be custom-built. Another goal when possible will be to replace all the off-the-shelf backgrounds and assets with custom-built assets. This may be done gradually or entirely depending on the financial and personnel resources available to the team. Governance Cornucopia is the island game government, or choice of rule, will be decided by the NFT land, NFT property, and Cornucopia's token coin owners. Decisions by majority voting and settings will take place within the town hall located in one or many of the zones or cities. The island council will evolve to a decentralized government involved in all ideas, concerns and discussions with the team. The council will have a voice on every part of the game, from fees to new developments. In order to promote decentralized community governance for the network, coins would allow holders to propose and vote on on-chain governance proposals to determine future features and or parameters of cornucopias. The right to vote is restricted solely to voting on features of cornucopias. It does not entitle coins holders to vote on the operation and management of the company, its affiliates, or their assets or the disposition of such assets to token holders, or select the board of directors of these entities, or determine the development direction of these entities, does not constitute any equity interest in any of these entities or any collective investment scheme. The arrangement is not intended to be any form of joint venture or partnership. Voting on real-world game mechanics will happen occasionally in the town hall, where all NFT character owners will be eligible to vote at one vote per NFT owned. An important part of the ecosystem is to make digital land ownership available to as many players as we can if possible. Land ownership is not a necessity to play the game, however there are benefits to owning land, which would grant the owner access to certain exclusive privileges or preferential terms within the game, e.g. ability to rent such land to other users. We are working on a governance model where voters will be able to earn land, tokens and other NFTs through a decentralized, anonymous voting mechanism. This will be explained in a later version of the white paper when it has been fully scoped. Other ways we will be offering land and other NFTs to players is via our partners' network and in-game promotions and rewards. Team We are a small team of experienced software game developers, game testers and analysts that have worked together on a number of projects, made up of four founders from two previous blockchain-based companies that are self-funding the project. Rob, Greg, MCP, BSC, Hans co-founder, self-funded research, cloud slash desktop slash blockchain development, team building, project management, Cardano project catalyst fund three and fund four funded project recipient Josh Jones co-founder, self-funded marketing, blockchain and leadership, take pool operator, Grow Your Stake GYS, YouTube channel owner Cardano Chats. Anthony Renix BSC, Hans co-founder, self-funded quality assurance and customer relations, Cardano Project Catalyst Fund 3 and Fund 4 funded project recipient. Unreal Engine 4 and 5 developers. Web developers. Graphics and social media creators. Project managers. Character and background artists level designers, game and storytellers, contract developers. End of white paper.